Hello everyone at St. Helens and St. Mary's. I'm Mrs. Gossman and today I'm going to be the host for this World Book Day Key Stage 2 quiz. So I hope you're ready for some fun or challenging questions as well. You will probably need to get a piece of paper, a pen, a pencil, a whiteboard. Uh, if you're in class, you can decide with your teacher how you want to do it. If you want to do it as a class, if you want to do it on your own. And if you're joining from home, it's the same. You can decide to play on your own. Or if you've got some siblings or some family members with you, you can obviously do it together. Because it's recorded, thanks to technology, if you want to pause at some points, just feel free to do so. So in this quiz, there are like four different rounds and sometimes the question will be worth one point, sometimes it will be worth two points. So just up to you to keep on counting and adding. So without further ado, I hope you're ready by now. Let's get started. Round one has five questions in it, and it's about books and authors. And as you can see just here below, each correct answer is worth one point. So let's get started. Question number one. Which book is not by David Williams? Be careful, is not. Is it A, Gangsta Granny? B, the world's worst teachers, C, codenames apples, or D, the midnight gang. So which one is not by David Williams? Okay, let's move on to question number two. Michael Morpurgo, we all know Michael Morpurgo, and I'm sure even, uh, I'm sure like in year three, year four, year five, year six, I'm sure you all have read some books by Michael Morpurgo. So does he write books mainly about A, comedy, B, science fiction, C, witches and wizards, or D, adventures and real places? Hmm. I'm sure you know, I don't know why I doubt. I'm sure you've got it correct. So well done already. Let's move on then to question three. Oh, this one is very challenging. Maybe I should have given you another point for this one. So question three, what is the most widely distributed, most translated and best selling book of all time? And we're really talking about all time, not just this month, last month, last year, from all time. Is it Harry Potter? Answer A. Alice in Wonderland? Answer B. The Bible? Answer C. Or Oliver Twist? Answer D. Okay, that's probably a very challenging question. So let's check later how you did with this one. Let's move on to question four. In which series do we meet Julian, Dick, Annie, Georgina, and their dog, Timmy? Are they part of A, The Famous Five, B, Harry Potter, C, The Secret Seven, or D, Narnia? You got it already? Brilliant. Let's go to the final question for this round, question five. Again, be really careful. Which book is not from William Shakespeare? So probably a question for maybe your six children. So if you're not in your six and if you can answer this one, brilliant. And if you don't know the answer, well, just have a guess. You never know, you might be right. So. Which book is not from William Shakespeare? Is it A, Romeo and Juliet, B, Hamlet, C, The Tempest, or D, Wuthering Heights? Which one is not from William Shakespeare? 
Okay, without further ado, let's check them out. So question one. Code named apples is not by David Williams because the correct title it code names bananas. So well done, all of you. I'm sure you've got this one correct. Question two was about Michael Morpurgo, and he loves writing about adventures and real places. Question three. Yes, surprisingly, or maybe not. The most translated best-selling books of all time is the Bible. And the Bible was the first book printed. So probably why it's been like sold and distributed for a long time. So well done if you've got this answer. Brilliant, all of you. Um, Julian, Dick and Georgina and their dog Timmy are the famous five. You know, I read all of their books when I was a child and I enjoyed all of them. So how many have you read? If you haven't started reading The Famous Five, maybe give it a go. You'll enjoy it. And question five, which book is not from William Shakespeare? It's Wuthering Heights, which was written by Emily Bronte. So well done. So remember, one correct answer equals one point. So how many did you get? If it's a five out of five, brilliant. And if you don't have a five out of five, brilliant anyway, because you joined in and this is the most important thing. And also I hope you're having fun because the point of a quiz is to have lots of fun. Let's move on then to round two, characters and animals. And in this round, each correct answer will be worth two points. Are you ready? Characters and animals. Some will be easy, some other question will be probably a bit more challenging. Let's check that. Paddington Bear. You all know Paddington Bear, but where is he from? Is he from Brazil? A. B. Peru? C. Argentina? Or D. From Chile? You got it? Brilliant. Let's move on. Question two. What are the characters created by Roald Dahl? Are they the twins, the twirls, the twist, or the twits? I suggest maybe you pause the video and you read it carefully. I kind of tried to be a bit cheeky on this one. So, the twins, the twirls, the twist, or the twits. Let's move to question three. The famous book, Moby Dick, have you read it? If not, I highly recommend it. So, if you haven't read it, and if you don't know about Moby Dick, you will have to guess, but maybe you know it because you read it. So what type of animal was Moby Dick? Is it a tiger, a cat, a cow, or a whale? Just guess if you don't know, you might be right. Let's move forward to question four. Which character goes to Hogwarts school? Is it A, Charlie? B, Super Tato, C, Horrid Henry, or D, Harry Potter? I'm sure this one will be 100% correct. Don't make me wrong. Finally, let's move to question five, the final question for this round. What is the name of the main character in Wanda by R. J. Palacio? What is the name of the main character in Wonder? Maybe you didn't read the book or haven't read it yet, but maybe you've seen the movie. So in this book or in the movie, the main character is Jack or Oge or Julian or Amos. What do you think? Okay, let's go and check all the answers. Remember, each correct answer is worth two points.
point. And we start with Paddington Bear, who is from Peru. So a lovely country in South America. So Paddington Bear is from Peru for two points. Then Roald Dahl created the twits. I'm sure you've, seen, you've read this one because you're key stage two. But if you haven't read this yet, I really highly recommend this one. You will have a good laugh. Question three, Moby Dick is a way. Another highly recommended book. Go and grab it from the library. Oh, no, they are closed, obviously, but when they reopen, or maybe you can find it in your school library. Question four, Harry Potter goes to Hogwarts school. 100%, I said, I hope I'm correct. Brilliant, whoever is watching it. And question five, Oggy is a main character in Wonder. And another lovely book about kindness and friendship. So if you haven't read it yet, another highly recommended book. So well done again. So remember each correct answer is worth two points. So make sure you pause the video and you count how many points you've got so far. And here we come together for round three. So round three is a bit of different questions about reading. That's why it's called miscellaneous. And each correct answer is worth three points in this one, three points, because some are probably kind of challenging. So without further ado, let's try. At Hogwarts, which spell would you use to disarm your opponent? Is it Expelliarmus, Accio, Lumus, or Ridiculous? So if you want to disarm your opponent, which spell will you use? You ready? Okay, let's move on to question two. In which country is a jungle in the Jungle Book? Is a jungle in Brazil? Is it a jungle in Indonesia? Is it in India or is it in Kenya? So a bit of geography here. What do you think? Was it about Brazil, Indonesia, India or Kenya? Question three, another question for three points. What happens to grandma, to George Grandma in George Marvelous Medicine when Grandma takes a medicine for the first time? Okay, we're talking about the first time. So what happens to George Grandma when she takes a medicine for the first time? A, she grows very tall. B, she shrinks. C, she explodes or D, she's sick. For the first time when she takes a medicine, what happens to her? Question four, I've got a quote from you, uh, for you here, but let's try to find out which book it's from. So quote is the following. People laugh at me because I use big words, but if you have big ideas, you have to use big words to express them, haven't you? So this is a quote from which book? Charlotte's Web, Anne of Queen Gables, The Secret Garden, or Matilda? You might want to pause the video and to read the quote again, as it might give you some clues about the book it's from. So Charlotte's Web, Anne of Queen Gables, The Secret Garden, or Matilda? And the final question for this round, who was created by Geppetto, the woodcarver? Was it the Gryffalo, the Stickman, Pinocchio or Peter Pan? That was, that's an easy one, I think. Or maybe not, we're going to find out. Are you ready for the answers? Here they come. 
So at Hogwarts, if you want to disarm your opponent, you will use Expelliarmus. And if you if you read the Jungle Book, maybe you knew or maybe you didn't, but it takes place in the jungle of India. Question three, grandma, so George grandma, when she takes a medicine for the first time, she grows very tall. And I know loads of things happens to her in the story. Another, another really, really good one. And if you haven't read it, which I'm sure you all did, it's a very, very funny one. Question four. This quote is from Anne of Green Gables. So I know at St. Helen we've got it in the library. Maybe you've got it as well at St. Mary's. So another excellent book uh, that maybe you want to give it a go. And question five. Pinocchio was created by Geppetto. Remember what happened to Pinocchio if he says some lies? Mm, yeah, you've got it. His nose is getting longer and longer. So brilliant. So every good answer was worth three points. So you might want to pause again and to count how many points you've got. And remember, if you miss some question, no worries. The main point is to be part of it and just to join me and join your friends uh, during this quiz. Okay, let's move on to the final round of this quiz called emojis. And each correct answer is worth two points here. So let's have a look. On one side here, you've got some titles, some book titles. And on the right hand side, you've got emojis. And you need to guess the titles using emojis. So so you need to have a look at the titles, you need to have a look at the emojis and match the emojis to the title. I think you need to pause the video for this one. I think it's kind of pretty easy and good fun. So I'm pretty sure you will have it all correct. So pause the video and play it again when you're ready for the answers. Amazing children watching. So let's check the answers. Where the white things are was emoji D. Curious George was C. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, kind of easy this one, I think, was E. Alice in Wonderland, you had really, really good clues and really good emojis well chosen. And Charlotte's Web was letter E. A. So brilliant. So remember, I think it was uh, two points per correct answer. So this was the final slide of our quiz. So you might want to pause here and add up all your um, answers to see how many points you gathered together. Well done, everyone, for joining me today for this quiz. I hope you had great fun. If you want to play it again, obviously you can. You can maybe challenge someone in your family or challenge a, a friend online. So make sure you have good fun, make sure you take care and have a lovely day packed with fun reading activities. Thank you again, everyone, for joining me. Bye.